Admiral's Log, January 9th, 1923. It has been an interesting six months. Behind our backs, the Austro-Hungarians negotiated a peace treaty with the French. From one day to the next, we were suddenly informed that hostilities against the French were to cease immediately. This made no sense to me as we were winning the war, as were the Austro-Hungarians and the Italians. I don't understand why we didn't squeeze the French a bit more. We got nothing out of the current peace treaty. Unfortunately, I don't have time to dwell on this too much, as the British have returned. After some very brutish rhetoric and a shakedown, they declared war on us. Again. And so, after two years, we once again find ourselves at odds with the British. To me, this is a good thing. As peace with the French was signed, the government decided that my navy did not need as much funding as it does during the war. With another war breaking out so soon, they very quickly changed their mind, instantly restoring my war budget. Over the two years that the British had peace, they've rebuilt their fleet and they've done so quickly. The British fleet is now around 125 ships. That means they outnumber us almost 3 to 1 and it seems that they intend to use that numerical advantage. A massive fleet of 88 British warships of all sizes is making its way to the North Sea. Fortunately, our new battleships of the Baden class have just finished construction. This will be the ultimate test for them. I have ordered all ships to cast off immediately and form up in the North Sea, just off of Helgoland. We are going to face the British, and we are going to win once again. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We are on episode 9 of this Germany Big Guns campaign. And the Big Guns are about to go loud. We have a massive British task force right next to the Netherlands. There's 5 battle cruisers, 5 battleships, 28 heavy cruisers, 30 light cruisers and 20 destroyers. That is a massive fleet, and I don't think I've ever seen anything this size move around through the AI's waters. Um, I don't have nearly as many ships ready, but what I do have ready are bigger guns. I have ships which are... actually, let me just pull them up. Um, you are the Baden class? Yes. The Baden class. New class of ship, not seen before on the series. These guys are packing double 6.9 inch guns, 12 8.9 inch casemates, which are going to come in all sorts of useful against destroyers, light cruisers, potentially heavy cruisers, depending on what sort of ammo you put into them. And then we've got 8.9s on these secondaries here. Uh, this is a very heavily armored warship. It is not fast, however. 22 knots. It is not very long ranged either, at less than 6,000 meters. Oh, sorry, <laughs> 6,000 kilometers. And uh, when it comes to protection, it's okay. Just try not to have it get torpedoed. Capped HE shells, capped AP shells, TNT, of course, rangefinders. And when it comes to armor scheme, pretty heavily armored. The Citadel is fairly large with the AB and C turret. And in case you're wondering, the C turret is on a barbette. Not because it really has to be, but because this way I can still have more 8-inch guns right next to it. So... These guys just entered service, and these guys are going to be put right to the test. I'm going to assemble them next to Helgoland. All of them. This is where we're all going to go. Because I need a massive fleet, and I need a ton of firepower if I have any hope of surviving this encounter. This is where we're all going to go. Right here. See, we got Bremen, we got Hamburg, we got two battleships in Kiel. You guys are also going to go here. I do not have a whole lot of escort ships, sadly. Uh, yeah, Baden and Zaringen here too. Off you go. They will arrive in one turn. Excellent. And then we got a task force here: three battleships, a battle cruiser, one heavy, three lights, and sixty Ds. That is it. That's all that we have. Now, some of them have taken some damage. I'm going to put these on high priority repair, so they're going to be available very quickly. 
especially I think Vettin, down to 76% structural. She needs to get fixed. Urgent. Now, I don't know how long exactly this war with the British is going to last. Um, I have new ships coming out in a long time. 22 months for the new battleships, 20, uh, sorry, 17 months for the other class, the Pommerns, and 9 months for a couple of new heavy cruisers. When it comes to research, we're still working on the big guns, the 17-inch guns. We've got better turret mechanisms coming up, but it's not that interesting. And uh, actually, I'm going to take my research away from this. We're going to get, what, a new heavy cruiser class? Modern cruisers, yes, please. I would love some better cruisers, especially considering the massive amount of smaller ships that the British are bringing. Uh, the third priority is still on ship construction. I just try to keep this on all the time because it means you have less ship construction time. And those times add up a lot. And here it is. The first wave of the British. It's not all the battleships that I was hoping would go here. It's just seven of them. That means I have seven battleships armed with 16.9-inch guns, and they're all too slow. I'm going to try and withdraw and wait for better fleet formations, but I doubt it'll work. Failure. Yeah, we're going to have to face these guys. Essentially, everything here is faster than I am. The only plan that I really have is to head away from the enemy fleet and just pummel them for as long as possible. If something gets too close, you pummel them in a bit and make sure they slow down either through flooding, structural integrity damage, or engine damage. And then you do it again, and again, and again. Here we go. 88 British ships against 7 Germans. They might have the numbers, but I have the guns. Everybody, line up in one massive formation. Please tell me they're not stupid. Uh, Schleswig then... No, they're stupid. Okay. There. Formation fixed. Now I need to find the enemy. Holy cow, the game is lagging. No wonder. It's simulating 95 ships. 88 from the Brits. 7 from my side. Now my crew is still in training. I mean, of course they are. They already have been regularly trained. It's not expert or veteran crew like the ones that I might like to have. Which means... My accuracy and reload are not as good as I would like. Reloading these big-ass guns takes me 152 seconds. That's an awfully long time. For the secondaries, it's 16 seconds and it is 18 seconds for the uh, double-barrel secondaries. The casemates, 16, 18 and a half for the doubles. I'm going to tell my main guns to only fire when they have a good chance to hit. And let's wait for the British. And here we go. It's on. Kronprinz has been detected. And she is already getting shot at. There is a serious volume of fire coming down on the Kronprinz. And sadly, I cannot detect the enemy. I know that they're about 13 clicks out. The only chance I have is just to push in. I need to detect them. I need to see something in order to be able to shoot at it. I've also had to split the divs. Um, we got two divs. We got the Hildebrand div with Baden and Bismarck. And the other one is the Kronprinz, Nassau, Schleswig-Holstein and Zawingen. Because the divisions uh, or the ships were getting so far apart, so spread out, that it just wasn't working. Now I fully intend, or fully expect, don't intend, fully expect to lose ships in this encounter. It's going to be really hard not to. Considering that I got this many ships to shoot at me. So, um, despite the way that I've built these ships, despite their price tag, despite the way that they've armored them up, it's extremely likely that they will die. But not without delivering a serious blow to the British. Let's see what we got here. I have told all of my primaries and secondaries to only shoot when they have a good solution. Turning circle at least is quite good on these ships. That's another DD, yes? Yes. Oh, the sea will run red with torpedoes. Let's start angling away. Look at this. This is all the DDs. All the DDs. At least they're dying fairly quick. Start turning, people. Start turning away. Might not be able to see them instantly. 
at least I'll be able to start dishing it out and slightly reducing their numbers. That's problematic. That's a lot of torps. See, these ships were not really expected to go out alone. And as such, they were not really expected to get only their own hydroacoustic system as a warning for inbound torpedoes. That was an actual hit. And the rest of them I can dodge for now. That potentially is about to change. Because 30 destroyers, each packing, what, two torpedoes per? Three? Four? Two dual tubes. Okay, that's the first damaged and eliminated British ship. On to the next. Grand Prince took a hit. She'll live. She'll be fine. This one's gonna be dead next. I'm not sure how you blocked that. That's gonna leave a mark. That ought to be dead. What I don't quite understand is why we're firing armor piercing at these guys. I mean, it's a DD. It's not that likely to really need a shell that can, at 5,000 meter range, pen 62.9 inches of armor. So let's not. And let's stick to HE. So far, all I can see is smoke. Just smoke. Smoke and destroyers. That's about the extent of it. Come on, sink. Now, I think the AI and the AI's formation system is going to have a bit of an aneurysm. Trying to figure out how to, well, how to manage all these ships and how to make them work, how to keep them moving. Come on. The British have broken out the flex tape lockers and are, in fact, surviving all of these hits. Look at this thing. This is a CL? Yeah, it's a light cruiser. Look at this colossal hole in the hull. That's a 17.9 inch hull. No exit wound. Good god. How is the thing not dead? You got that much damage going on. You should be flooding in a matter of minutes. There you go. Okay. So that's at least one light cruiser down. We're dodging this torpedo quite nicely. Everybody fire. My issue, however, is I'm not seeing the big ships yet. And as I'm not seeing the big ships, I cannot shoot. I cannot eliminate large amounts of firepower quickly. You know what? Just pick your own ammo, because we're still bouncing off of a DD somehow. What are you, a CL? That's a CL. Maybe even a CA, heavy cruiser. If it's a CA, I understand. A heavy cruiser is definitely going to have more armor. See, there's a pen. What pen do you... 4.3 inch. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. But a 14.2 inch did 118 damage. That's worse. Torpedoes coming from every which way. Nassau is caught between two. Don't dodge too much now, Nassau. Good work. Good work. What are you? Heavy cruiser. Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. I need bigger, much bigger targets. Okay, formation. Torpedo dodge on. Hildebrand, full turn. Hard to port. What we got here? Curaçao. Here we got the Fire Drake. At least they don't carry a lot of torpedoes. Probably a reduced complement. They only got one shot. So they lose their torpedoes, or they use their torpedoes, and they're done. Just one hit, or sorry, one salvo, and done. So essentially DDs, like the the Fiddlerlam over here, they have already launched. I don't really have to worry about them that much. Schleswig, you are playing an awful risky game here. You might fit... Uh-oh, not if this thing changes direction. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. What are we going to do with this? Can we get that thing off screen, please? Thank you. Look at this shit. 
This ship is now taking all of the attention of the British fleet. If it can shoot it, it'll hit the Schleswig. Pardon if I'm butchering that pronunciation. If it can shoot, it'll hit this target. The ship's getting hit. 72 times so far, but 1,200 shells were fired out of 1,300. It's probably going to ramp up very quickly. Um, that was a bonk from a torpedo. Close target first. Oh, uh, that was not my torp. I don't have torps. They're getting hit by friendlies. That's good. For me. Hey ho! British battleship spotted. Oh, look at that. They got baby turrets. They got a little two-incher or something on top of the main turret. Cute. Shame if something happens to it. Um... Yeah, you guys are still working on your turn. That's good. Slow down a touch. Both for maneuverability and to make sure that we dodge torpedoes faster. Bologna and Cambrian are both taking a ton of fire. Let's finish off these guys first. Just because I don't really particularly care for half-dead ships. And it's a bit easier on my CPU. Boom. Flooding. Cambrian. Dead. Okay. Bigger div. Start focusing on this. Something hits my torpedo again. Or it's my belt. Schleswig. Slightly flooding. Otherwise fine. Nothing too terrible. Overpen. The whole bow of the cruiser appears to be missing. Come on. Zaringen, you're getting fairly close to a torpedo-capable warship here. Come on. In the meanwhile, Division 2 is engaging the battleship. And already doing some damage. How good is their chance to pen me, I wonder? Not good. 6%. So I can tank the battleships for a while. It's the torpedoes I should be worried about. Please finish this guy off. Fast is good. Because the Bologna has torpedoes, and she's willing to use them. She has already scored two torpedo hits. Partial pen. Come on. Finish off the Bologna. Thank you. Secondary's on the rival now. Not all guns on the rival. It's a bit much, people. Got a fleet of heavy cruisers coming in here. Come on. Wipe it out. It's just a DD. Don't tell me I'm going to bounce. No. It's not a threat. I just don't want it this close to my fleet. This is a problem. Tempest, Stalwart. Stalwart has Torps. Make this a priority. Focus on this. Because this can get a broadside on the Zaringen. And she's looking at it. That's a priority. Stalwart. Hit. Massive damage on Stalwart as all ships focus fire. Her 4.3 inch, I think, was destroyed. Yep. Come on. Yep, dead. Perfect. The rival is also taking a lot of flooding. Some damage here on the battleship, but I'm not really seeing that much. Okay. Uh, commence your port turn. We're going to fall behind the other division. And we're going to make sure that we don't take all attention on one ship. Zaringen. You're clear to go maximum speed. Pick your own ammo, pick your own targets for a bit. Because I don't think the battleships are that big of a concern right now. Whereas enough fire starting capability is going to ruin my crew. That's a problem. I got a standard crew quarters and the Zaragon is already down to 10% crew loss. That's not good. Zaragon is also... yeah, she's worst off by far. 
So far, I've done 47,000 damage versus a little over 3,500 by the Brits. Ugh, I'm going to have to draw attention to some other ship here because the Zaringen at this rate is not going to survive. Even though I want her to run at top speed, I don't think she can. Let's just have her disengage. Detach. Just present your stern and run. Ish. But this is what I mean. I am going to lose a ship. There's really no denying that. It just happens to be Zarian. 12 million. My ships are 102 million, so sink about... 10 of these, and you get the price of one of these. Fire Drake. Should be dead. A lot of fire still coming out from over there. I still have hundreds and hundreds of shells, so at least I'm not concerned about running out of shells anytime soon. Focus on Galatea. Everybody. Tempest is out of torpedoes, not a threat. Or at least not a priority. Natal's dead in the water. Got Niobe and Shannon coming in. Are you kidding me? Are we gonna ricochet off of this? Yes, we are. Our shells are too prone to ricochets. I need to put more semi armor piercing on my ships. Because that does not ricochet. At least not very quickly. Come on. Stronghold. Has torps. Pay attention. Don't care about Tempest. Care about Stronghold. Secondaries on Stronghold. Zaringen. Zaringen is not taking that much more damage. And is trying to fall back. Schleswig. Turn to port. Zaringen. Continue to exit the theater much as you can. Their stronghold. Launch torps at Bismarck. Bismarck is over there. This div. Feel free to maneuver. Ah, the battleships are showing up. Good lord, they're close as well. That's not good. All guns on the Colossus. Why can we not pen the Colossus? Because she has a lot of armor. Are you kidding? Seven clicks out? Seven clicks out. I can pen 56 inches of armor. You don't have that much. No, 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 no. You don't have that much. Bismarck. Uh, if I tell the Bismarck to start dodging manually, the whole formation is going to be a fantastic mess. Winter. Guys, winter is coming. Kill it. Standard uh, shells, please. With Colossus, we've got Resolution, Goliath. And that must be your battle cruisers coming in as well. And they're all inside of a smoke screen. We're going to have to turn back. Come on. Take it out. Problematic. It's two torpedoes converging. They're going to converge here. Turn to port. You still can. Fuck. Hard over. This might dodge both. One. Dodged. Two dodged. Perfect. Well done, Zawingen. Well done. Carry on with your retreat. Winter just launched torps at, probably Zaringen. Baden. Baden? What the fuck's Baden? Hello? Here? It's optimistic. Heavy cruisers taking a ton of attention now. Galatea might die. Colossus, good beating. Good beating on the Colossus. Status on the other ships. Don't crash on me now, game. No, 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 no. Still have many, many more ships to sink. Yeah, Colossus flooding. Oh, this is not great. Focus fire on the Colossus. 
secondaries on whatever small ship that is. The, oh! Pushing torpedoes coming from every which way. Bismarck's gonna do her utmost best to take another hit. <sighs> Rapid. Status. You got torps. That's not great. Schleswig. Okay, you guys stop the torpedo nonsense. It's really messing with the formation as well. Baden just took another torpedo. Baden's gonna have to leave. Disengage. I'm gonna manually guide these ships for now. Turn. Don't care about collisions. I have the least of my worries. Turn to port. Can we at least take out one of their battleships, please? No, not likely. Colossus took some damage. Not that big of a threat. Look at that. 50 million for a battleship. That's a bargain. Damage done. 86,000. Baden, do you have maneuverability? You do. It's not great. Hildebrandt, you're targeting Colossus. We've got the light cruiser Chester in the way. There's speed bump and annoyance than anything else. Can we pen this? Yes. Okay, carry on. Other side. That's the Zaring and retreating from Rapid. What are you focused on with the main guns? Don't tell me it's a, it's a destroyer. Don't focus on a destroyer, you numb nut. Speak. Don't focus on a light cruiser. Focus on something a lot bigger. Baden might be doomed. Bismarck. At least you're still paying attention to the Colossus. That's good. Fairly decent chance to pen. Here's the main tower. Full pen on Bismarck. I'm trying to get the Bismarck to a, an angle where she can use her bow turrets. And this is not it. Come on, I'm gonna eliminate one of their battleships. They take a lot longer to rebuild. The shells being simulated is fairly nuts. Look at this, this is all going for the bottom. 8,000 shells thrown her way. Colossus made a colossal mistake. Turning broadside. You're running a low amount of shells or something. Yeah, reduced ammo for shells. Interesting choice. Not the right one. Not the right one. Oh, I would have liked to have the auto class for this one been a far, far, far better ship for this situation. Better secondaries, better protection, better hull form. Hello, Caesar. Turn. Zavingen is surprisingly fine. I thought she was completely done for. She is not. Turn, Bismarck. Nassau. Engage this. I'm now worried about the bottom because their 37% structural integrity is not great. Goliath, mostly flooded. Excellent. Structural integrity is here 34, crew loss 28. Not a big fan of those stats. Some damage on Caesar, just not really enough to eliminate that. Currently, I'm not even trying to keep track of how many ships I've eliminated. Just. If I eliminate something, great. And we just move on. Spread. More DDs coming in. They had 20 or 30 of these boys. I don't even remember. <sighs> 11,000 shells just for her. I'm starting to run out of things to shoot. That's too fast for a CL. That's a DD. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have anything spotted. Fuck. Okay. 
where are we at? All my ships are surviving. That's something. Baden is most likely not going to be surviving for much longer. Nassau, push in. Bismarck, push back in. Kronprins. Hildebrand. We're going to reset up, regroup on our damaged battleship. This thing is taking so much damage. 13,000 shots at the bottom. And she's taken an actual 800 hits. 379 were blocked. 42 were flat out ricochets. 447 partial pens. Sea state. I know sea state's terrible all around. Okay. Nice torpedo. Okay, let's get Nassau. In a division with Bismarck. And the Clone Prince too. Here we go. This way. Normal formation. Standard speed. Cover retreat. There we go. Targets. These might be battle cruisers. Yeah, they're sleeker. Almost no secondaries. Primary guns, 14.2 inch. I doubt you can pen that frontally. We're probably gonna have to do some... Oh, we can pen something else. We're gonna probably have to throw some HE in their face. Cover the retreat of the Baden. Do what you can. Baden, you best speed up, lest you get rammed by the Bismarck. Oh, she's flooding. Stars and the other ships. Hildebrand. Hildebrand. Last week, get in there. Flooding. Perfect. What are we shooting? Auto, auto, something died. Auto, auto, perfect. There's a battle cruiser. It's going broadside, guys. Pick the armor piercing and kill that thing off. All ships. This. This is your target. It's fully broadside. Eliminate it. 16.9 inch guns. Go. If we hit a light cruiser or DD that's in the way, that's on them. Bismarck's division heroically... Heroically trying to screen the extremely damaged bottom. Come on. Still targeting the broadside ship, but it's... No, it's not inside of a smokescreen. Interesting. That's good. No, it's not inside of a smokescreen. Taking shots, or we're hitting stuff here, here, here. You know what? High explosive on all the boys. Because we might just accidentally kill a destroyer or maim a light cruiser. I don't care. HE on everything. Yeah, there's a lot more out there. Bismarck's now taking fire. Which means Baden is not. But Baden can only run at four knots. And I doubt that's going to be improving anytime soon. 16.9 inch high explosive is being thrown at the battle cruiser, but they're shrugging it off for the most part. It's not that deadly. What you got there? Another BC? Yes, it is. Let's switch fire. Here's your target. This thing is fully bow in, so this makes more sense for high explosive. At this point, I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible so that the British are going to be saddled with a massive repair cost. I've done 11... Sorry, 111,000 damage. 17k taken. The main gun. Funnels. Okay. 
There's Mark come round. Hildebrand. We're all circling our damaged Baden. Oh, that was great. That was a thousand damage. Four belt pen with high explosive. Courageous. Courageous is out of high explosive. Sorry, out of AP ammo. Standard complement of shells. Did you have your ammo detonated? Well, not to my knowledge. Okay, this guy is now so close. I'm very confident to say that there's nothing else between myself and them. So firing HE is not as effective anymore. Let's just use AP. It's a 47 million dollar uh, battle cruiser. Yeah, it's trying to fall back. We might need to let it. They have 50% damage and stability, leaving them largely ineffective, at least on paper. But considering the size of my ships and the slow speed of them, I'm very easy to hit. Oh, do I eliminate it or not? Because that's going to take me a while. No, we're not going to eliminate it. Everybody switch fire to the resistance. H-E. Come on. We overwhelm this thing with fires? Many bulkheads. Not very likely. But considering the amount of attention it's grabbing, we might be able to. Look at that. That's one way to get rid of a battle cruiser. Just burn the fucker down. Come on. One Prince is drawing all the fire right now. I don't mind her taking that much aggro. Because she's very healthy. At least it means they don't touch the bottom. It's just that if this keeps up, her crew's going to be dead. Where's the rest of my ships? Well, I'm fairly, fairly successful in shepherding them all here. Yeah. Got no outliers. Good. Okay, you're nice and broadside. All to select. I think we might be able to pen that, yes? Nah, sort of. You'd think that we could pen that, right? 16.9 inch guns? You'd think so. You'd be wrong. We still have a chance to ricochet. But this guy... This guy right here is flooding a lot. Problem is, they got so many more ships here. <laughs> they can just tell the resistance to fall back and send another one of their ships forward. And that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, this is going to be a collision. Don't care. Don't care. Turn. Come on. At least we're going to eliminate this resistance ship. This battle cruiser here. Finish it. I think we might be able to flood it. There's another Caesar battleship coming in. We've already seen that guy before. There's the Courageous trying to save it. It will not. One Prince and a 32% crew losses. My ship's going to surrender in a while. Shell count. Looking pretty healthy. Do I have increased shells? No, standard. There we go. Battle cruiser down. Next is the indefatigable. Everybody. Shoot the indefatigable. Hildebrandt. Flooding. Nassau is actually surprisingly healthy. 15,000 damage what she's did. Uh-oh. Crown Prince. Crown Prince might be able to disengage. Odds are not great. That's a heavy cruiser. The British just have so many fast ships. I mean, these battle cruisers are running at 26 knots. My ships retreat at 15, 12. Yeah, they're not going to run. No, we're going to fight it out. And we'll be lasting as long as possible. But that's going to make for a massive battle. 
and as such, a massive episode. So, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to leave you guys in the cliffhanger of the valiant battle of the German Navy against their British counterpart. Next time, we're going to kick right off where we left off. Right here. A couple of battlecruisers burning, one battlecruiser sunk, some heavy damage to one of their battleships. And all my ships have taken at least some damage, with Baden and Kronprinz taking a lot. And now also Hildebrand, which seems to be right the focal point of the British fleet. So join me next time for the conclusion of this battle. There will be no surrender. Well, at least not on my behalf. <laughs> there will be no retreat. We're going to fight this guy out. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon for the next one.